Welcome back everyone. Dalmaku, the press the ore, Aya's turn. Let's get started. She just drew her two cards. Um, she drew the incident, which is Spring Snow. And uh, yeah, we are going to hopefully do some stuff with this. So first things first, she needs to do a um, spiritual attack. And she's going to target... She's the rival, so she needs to take out um, Patchy. So she's going to go ahead and do a spiritual attack on Patchouli. Now, unfortunately, her options are pretty limited. Uh, no one's going to try to cancel this, because... Actually, no, never mind, she can't. Because no one can activate spell cards. So the only thing that uh, Aya can do this turn is shoot. So she's going to shoot at Patchouli. Patchouli gets to reveal the top card. It's a winter card, which does not get negated. So this is going to go through unless someone can dodge it for her. And uh, no one's interested in dodging it for her, or that, that could. So this is going to do one wound which is going to force uh, her to discard a power card, which thankfully she has a power card to discard. Then she's going to draw a card. Okay. Also, any spring cards are supposed to be collected. My bad. Okay. And that is it for the turn. Next is um, Atsuo. Atsuo gets to draw two cards. Can't really do much with this, so she's going to go ahead and shoot at um, Patchouli. So Patchouli gets to reveal the top card. It's a summer card, which is enough to avoid the attack. Alright, this is a spring card, so it gets collected. And that is pretty much it for her. Um, so she's going to go ahead and heal. Alice. Actually, in her case, she doesn't actually need to. She'll heal herself. Okay, next is um, Patchouli. Patchouli gets to draw two cards. Her options are a bit limited now. Um, she, Her only target is Alice now, as far as she knows. But she knows everyone else is probably against her since they keep attacking her. Um, now the bad news is she can't reach Alice. But since uh, Atsua just attacked her, um, she will go ahead and just shoot at her. Which is just going to get uh, grazed. There you go. Sakiya's turn. She's going to draw two cards. She can't activate any spell cards, so uh, she's going to go ahead and Tempest. Which means everyone has to discard the cards and then draw three cards. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and count up the spring cards that are being discarded right now, because that needs to be taken care of. One, three... Four. So that's four cards there. Five. So yeah, this is going to resolve the incident. So that's been resolved. Okay. So everything's going to get discarded. Everyone's going to draw three new cards. Be right back. All right. So cards have been dealt out. Uh, Saki is going to go ahead and grow more and draw two more. Wrong card. That gets discarded. I had to reshuffle the deck, obviously. Alright, so drew two new cards. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and play some powers. Give myself a buffer against for Supernatural Border. Now, I still need to figure out who the freaking other character is. I already know who the EX boss is, so it's going to be one of these two characters that I need to target. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot at Atsuo, because she's the biggest threat. Atsuo is going to take it. And oh, Actually, can she reach? Plus one range, plus one range, so that's three range. Um, Sakya actually can't reach her. Uh, Atsuo is two range away. 
or sorry, not two range. She's two range plus two range distance, so that's four. So one, two, three. I have three. I have three range right now. So the only person I can actually target is Aya, and Aya is going to discard a Damaku card to negate it. Cancel it completely. So there you go. There you go. All right, and that is all she can do. So next is going to be Alice's turn. New is um, actually Alice is going to skip her instant step, so she's good to go. And she's going to go ahead and open with. Um, she can only target. She only cares about going after Patchouli, as far as she knows. So she's going to go ahead and last word. And Aya is going to negate it because she has no other choice. She can't afford to get blasted from this. All right, next is going to be Aya. I is going to draw the new instant. During your instant step, reveal the top three cards of the deck. You may choose a power-up, invocation, or healing card from those. One, two, three. None of them are either. None of those. None of those were drawn, so these are get, gets collected. This will stay until twelve cards are collected. So all those have been collected. I is going to draw two cards. Then she's going to go ahead and spiritual attack on Patchouli. And no one has any means to negate it. So yeah, so first it's going to be top five cards and collect any Damaku. One, two, three, four, five. So those two are Damaku. I'm going to flip those around. There you go. And then Patch Oli, let's see, whenever you're attacked, flip the top card. Top card is a winter, which is going to go through, and Patch Oli will dodge it, or graze it, rather. And yes, I checked. You can do spiritual border, then decide whether or not you want to graze. So that takes care of all of that. All right, next she's going to play a power card, which gives her more range. And then she's going to go ahead and shoot Patchouli. No one can help her. So Patchouli will t uh, flip the top card. It's an Autumn card. So this goes through, does one damage, and removes that Spiritual Border. And then she's going to shoot one more time, because she has one more shot because of the Power card which is going to go through, and she's going to life up herself to prevent herself from dying. Which, she still gets to draw one card. Alright. So all that went through. Next, um, that was the end of her turn. Next is going to be Atsuo. Atsuo gets to reveal top three cards and collect any invocation cards or power-ups or healing. She's going to go ahead and take this invocation card. The rest get collected. And uh, next she's going to shoot at uh, Patchouli. No one can avoid it. So she's going to go ahead and get destroyed. And that is it for her. Obviously she's the heroine, but what's going to end up happening next is the, revi re the rival will reveal herself. When the heroine is defeated, reveal this role. Take the heroine role card and gain one life. So now Aya is the heroine. She gains one life. And uh, next, Atsuo is going to go ahead and bomb um, Aya. And Aya can't avoid it because this is not a Damaku card. So this is going to attack three times and take her out. Well, sorry, it's going to be three attacks. So it's going to be one, one wound, draw a card. Second wound, draw a card. And then that is death. All right, that is game. Heroin was heroin has been destroyed, and now at this point, everyone reveals their um, roll cards. All 
So one true partner, defeat all other partners, stage bosses, and the extra boss. Protect, protect the heroine. She did everything except kill the other partner. Well, sorry, she didn't protect the heroine either, but she needed to kill the partner, but she never found her. Apache is dead, and she was the heroine. Sarno was dead, is, was the anti-heroine. Yuka was, is dead and was the challenger. Um, t -t 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 Yukari was the final boss. Um, so really the only person that hasn't revealed yet is Atsuo, who reveals that she's the EX mid-boss. Defeat all stage bosses, then defeat the heroine. So for this battle, um, for this match rather, the winner is Alice and Atsuo. Because the phantom boss has met her requirement of defeating all stage bosses, then defeat the heroine. So hopefully that wasn't that was probably really complex because obviously I was I was playing with um playing as multiple characters here but um that's how crazy this game can be with eight char uh, eight players as you can resolve a lot of incidents right, very quickly it's very aggressive um a lot of it's kind of guesswork in the beginning because you have to you have to just figure something out um I mean some of the things you can do in the beginning of the game is obviously attack the heroine but the moment you start attacking the heroine um, it's gonna point. It's gonna make people think that you're either a boss or you're thinking you're a boss or pretending to be a boss, which can be very messy. And then as people slowly get wiped out one by one, more people will start becoming more aggressive as their roles have been accomplished. In a smaller group, it's not as bad. It's not as hectic because um, obviously there's less people, which means your requirements are generally much easier to figure out. But in this case, since there were so many crazy, wacky uh, bosses, like ones that had to kill a her uh, a partner, and one that had to kill a um, boss, another boss first, um, yeah, it was pretty neat. Anyway, like I said, this game's pretty good, but it's really hard to get a group for it. Um, I will include the link for the uh, group and all that good stuff, and hopefully this was this isn't edited too badly. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and show off the game just to show how it is. There's definitely a lot. There's definitely a lot of variety with the characters. Um, and some characters can be shut down by others, depending on just how the matchup is. But for the most part, uh, it's not too shabby. Uh, it, even if there's like characters that are kind of annoying or have really annoying abilities, you can generally focus them down pretty quickly. Like Yukari being able to steal stuff. So, anyway, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was um, Tom Maku. See you guys later.